Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with MTI Wireless Edge. Today's host is Ofer Bismuth. He'll be presenting today. He is their Director of Sales and Marketing for North America. If you have any questions, please feel free to submit them in the question box, and I'll ask them to Ofer at the end of today's presentation. Thank you, Ofer, so much for being with us today. Appreciate your time and your presentation. You can now go ahead and take it on over. Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, you, I hope that you have a coffee for the breakfast because I have a coffee of the dinner. Uh, now it's about uh, 8 p.m. in our time. So let's start. And uh, if you have any question, any question, uh, I would be more than happy to answer this. Uh, uh, in the end of the presentation, so uh, uh, so I, I will I will start about why there is a reason for a huge capacity and everyone needs. I, I think it's very clear, but uh, you know, let's emphasize a little bit about this. I will do a short introduction about MTI capabilities. I'm not sure if everyone aware about MTI company. Um, uh, we will do some profile how uh, to do antenna solution, uh, you know, um, consideration about selection. We will do a short overview about uh, portfolio. And then uh, well, I'm open to, you know, until uh, you're still morning with your time. So I'm open for any time you want uh, for have any discussion and questions. So let's go forward. So uh, the question is, uh, you know, how, how do you like your network to look like, you know, high speed or low speed? Uh, it's not funny because uh, I'm sure that anyone, any one of you are aware that uh, there is a, the same network, the same, it looks like the same, the same frequency, the same, you know, even the same radio, but you don't get the same uh, performance. So the question is, if you know how to design your network in order to get the maximum throughput, and I will show you why, why again, this is the most critical uh, important uh, point of my presentation, why you need to choose the best antenna solution. Not MTI maybe, but other, but why you need to look carefully about solution uh, when you choose antenna. And this is a very critical. So uh, I call it starving for capacity, okay? And, and the main idea that, you know, everyone needs more and more and more capacity on their mobile, on their PC, uh, fiber to the home. Now it's not a dream. Everyone, I'm sure, that uh, uh, aware about uh, about that uh, you can get sometimes uh, fiber to the home. Uh, in Israel, it's very uh, business can get the fiber. Of course, it's not uh, 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 dedicated fiber, but you know there is a technology that you can give you a wavelength and you can get almost dedicated, you know, laser, it's a light uh, solution. So uh, uh, so what's happened that there is a lot of application and, and location that you need uh, more and more, uh, you know, um, uh, bandwidth. Okay, we're talking about Facebook. Now the new uh, Facebook, uh, you know, uh, release, uh, they're going to release or they already released the new, uh, uh, you know, uh, movie, uh, uh, application uh, competition to uh, it's going to be a competition to YouTube, so they're going to push it and and of course <laughs> it's it's capacity it's bandwidth. Everyone now lead uh, a huge stadium that you know thousands of people now want to share a video or share uh, and get uh, you know WhatsApp and everything. So there is a lot a lot of demand for capacity and and the funny thing it's like you know. Uh, uh, a hole without any hand, you know, you put uh, you put capacity and tomorrow morning you need more. I'm not sure about your mobile, but uh, in, in Israel now everyone's selling 100 uh, gigabyte per second in every month for, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks. So the, there is a huge uh, demand of capacity. And I will show you why it's very important, because when you're talking about your demand of capacity, the solution is to put more radio. To put more radio, you need more sophisticated antenna and more uh, better antenna solution. So we know today there is a huge two by two. Everyone knows it's selling two by two. Four by four is going to be, you know, uh, everyone selling now four by four. You look Mimosa, Radwin, everyone. Um, and we see already eight by eight. There is a lot of people 
that are trying to build now A by A. Uh, maybe it's uh, beginning of LTE, but it will come very shortly to uh, to all the Wi-Fi environment. Uh, so the bottom line, there must be uh, a better antenna technology or better antenna design or uh, or, or carefully antenna design, whatever you you want to uh, to catch the, the world. But the idea is that the antenna, and I will show you after that, the antenna. Uh, uh, um, it's it's almost almost you know uh, when we're talking about general uh, overview of the of the cost of the the project that then it's about two and a half five percent of the total you know uh, network capacity and uh, sorry network network cost and and it's very important and I will show you that how why it's very important to uh, choose a good quality antenna and again um, this is a just overview but I will show you after that uh, example. So there is a lot of technology now. We're talking about uh, Wave Two, which also it's also almost done. You know, many people are using this now. There is a, a new technology. I think it's going to be a X eight by eight radio uh, very soon. Most of the company already have the chip already. A lot of eighty uh, sixty gigahertz. You will see more and more uh, sixty gigahertz. I know because we work with a lot of company. You will see more point-to-point -point like Ciclu, but also point-to-multipoint. So the main idea again, how we can get more capacity, how we can get more, uh, you know, bandwidth from from any frequency. So, you know, so this is the reason that all, if you know more about the com about the CBRS, the main idea of CBRS is funny. It just increased. The bandwidth, the spectrum, that's all. All the CBRS uh, bottom line is how we can increase the spectrum, taking into consideration all the other uh, people that are using this, you know, in uh, like military and Navy. So the main idea to get capacity. And then the technology. Technology push you to get more and more capacity, like smart antenna technology, uh, fixed LT, it's already, you know, it's already, if you look on the market, you see a lot of... Uh, OEM like vendor like uh, Bicel or Terrad or other company that are ZTE that are pushing the fixed LTE. So it's also a technology that you can push more and more capacity. And, and LTE has their own uh, you know ability to uh, to push more uh, capacity per user. So just overview or short overview how uh, going from wave one to wave two increase your capacity out of the air again. Capacity, bandwidth, requirement for customer, everything pushing to get you uh, capability to support more capacity for your customer. The second, uh, the second thing that we saw now, it's also if you look, uh, we talk about uh, two by two, three by three. There is also also six by six. For example, you can see Cirrus uh, uh, radio uh, going from eight to uh, 16 um, uh, radio uh, or even more than 16. Uh, so you can see a huge radio capacity in very small form factor, you know, the same form factor. The main idea that they need more capacity. They need more capacity, they need antenna, but then there is a lot of interference. So they have to, to do a better antenna design, a smart antenna or beamforming. So again, everything pushing outside to uh, to uh, from from capacity to the antenna and and you know uh, one thing that I, I will explain about this okay but one thing that you need to know that the antenna it's like the eye and the nose and the heel of the of the radio okay if it doesn't uh, work properly the radio doesn't know how to work in in very high uh, noisy environment you know it must have some filter outside. And the antenna is the filter, okay? The antenna know how to work in uh, reuse or, or co-polarization. A lot of factors that we will talk about this, but this is the first eye of the radio. If if it looked good, if you work good, the radio will work properly. So you can put as much as you want radio, but if you choose the wrong antenna solution, you screw up the network. So I will again, we will go about this, but this is the main idea that the antenna finally. It's the last sensor of the of the network. Okay, whatever the antenna know how to filter, uh, it will make uh, the radio work properly. Uh, otherwise, it's you know uh, the radio. It's like you know uh, you know to work in 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 such level of noise. Okay, after that, 
he cannot uh, walk and the, the throughput will be uh, reduced dramatically. So the antenna, this is the reason the antenna is like, you know, uh, the first line of the radio. So about small antenna, okay, there we saw more and more, you can see more and more uh, people are walking, going to a small antenna. The main idea of of all of these, it's again, it's to get a better capacity coverage and get a better uh, bit rate. Uh, again, uh, this is the main idea. Now everyone has their own implementation of uh, of smart antenna. Okay, it's good and bad, by the way, because if you look at uh, the Medusa from Cambion, you look the Radwin, both of them or others uh, company, both of them are doing smart antenna, but the, 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 the best thing is getting more capacity, but the, the, uh, the bad thing, okay, there is always uh, the bad thing because it's proprietary. So you cannot use and change between CPE and sector from different vendors because it's a proprietary protocol. So this is the reason that everyone pushing LT because LT is, uh, have the same idea of smart antenna and, but you can choose the LTE side, you know, uh, the CPE direction, you can choose whatever you want, even the sector you can sometimes make in mix. So the main idea that LTE is kind of standard, okay? It's, again, it's a word, okay, but it's a buzzer, but bottom line, it's not true, but uh, it's, it can be, uh, you know, in, in theory that, uh, you know, that LTE is a standard. So main idea of smart antenna, it's to bring more and more capacity to the user. How they are doing this? There's few, uh, let's say, there's few uh, technology from the stupid one that uh, we can uh, switch uh, um, uh, antenna to different size or we can increase the, uh, you know, uh, the capacity per specific uh, uh, solution. So there is a lot of technology. Again, it's the idea, it's the theory, okay? How the company implement uh, their uh, beam forming and solution, it's it's unknown, okay? I'm sure that if you check how Campion or how Radwin or other people are doing, you would see a different technology, and everyone said that they have uh, a very good performance. By the way, the customers are happy. Uh, bottom line, customers are very happy from uh, from beam forming uh, solution from smart antenna. They're also happy from LT, but less, because it's more expensive. But Again, uh, this is a solution to bring you uh, more capacity, but this solution requires sometimes a better antenna solution or better antenna array. So again, going back and back to antenna because the radio uh, transmit uh, 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 control to the antenna how to uh, react, how to change, how to, um, to uh, give more capacity to the specific direction. So everything is done by the radio, the smart, but the antenna is the one again that doing the you know the eye and the and the nose and the ear. They're doing the the job at the, in the end of the day. So just example of how do you look when we talk about MIMO antenna, MIMO antenna. Uh, you know the main idea that you have a few ports in your antenna, two, three, four, whatever. Of course. Uh, um, it, um, uh, you know, if you increase eight by eight, it's going to be a different size of antenna because you want also to achieve some performance. So you cannot make reuse of 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 the same antenna for different ports. Okay, so you must increase the, the antenna. So if you take two by two or four by four, by default, uh, four by four should be in the same game. By the way, same performance should be higher. So this is in general few of the antenna that we have. You can see that you have uh, two by two. It's been uh, V and H. We we'll talk about this. It's a uh, V and H polarization compared to dual slant polarization. This is dual slant. The difference between V and H and dual slant. I'm not sure if everyone aware, but uh, the dual slant coming from the LTE. So the main idea. It's like V and H. Try to to imagine. It's the vertical and horizontal switch by 45 degree, and you get dual slant. Um, the, the, the rule like this, okay, in the CPE, uh, we are doing this, by the way, and many other companies, you can switch back uh, the dual slant to be VNH or VNH to, to be dual slant by rotating 45, you know, the mountain can, can, can support this, and this is, can be in the direction of the CPE. It's much more complicated, even you cannot do it in the sector. So the sector, if the sector is dual slant, 
mostly the, the CP can be, uh, should be a uh, loss line. Otherwise, you're losing about 3 dB uh, because the polarization is uh, different. But in general, to try to understand that this is the same. VNH and the CP is the same like loss line, just what they did by 45. Again, um, uh, everyone tells say that the dual slant can support better uh, mobile application, but we are not talking about mobile most of the time. We're talking about fixed customer. So this is uh, something that it's running uh, again and again, and we have support many of these antenna. Uh, triple polarity again, you can see three port, uh, MIMO three by three. Uh, I'm not going to. It's uh, VNH and. Uh, Sorry, in dual slant plus uh, V polarity. Uh, there is also uh, four by four. Recently, we sell this antenna to a big uh, customer. Uh, PR will uh, will be uh, soon uh, released. But the main idea that uh, they need uh, um, four by four for their uh, antenna, and also we have a big customer that buying this as well. So the main idea again, it's uh, four by four to support more capacity. Each port works separately. Each port can give you uh, either 13 dBi in uh, 4.9, uh, sorry, in 5.8, or 11 dBi. Again, each port can support both both radio 2.3, sorry, 2.4 and 5.8 simultaneously. It means that the radio can change between 5.8 to 2.4 on the same port. Uh, again, this is the design of the antenna. So, but I will be back to, 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 sorry about the technology. Give me a few minutes to give you about MTI. So first of all, MTI, it's, it's, it's really a technology leader over 45 years. So if you look in the market, you cannot find any company that use and manufacture and design antenna for huge spectrum of, uh, of, uh, application from military, RFID, RFID, sorry, LTE, uh, broadband. Uh, we are a public company, uh, so we also, you know, this is very important because you are public, you need to uh, report uh, uh, how many money you're doing and you don't need to lose and so on. So we are public and we are still very profit over 45 years. We are really leader in many technology and working with a lot of OEM. and we will see about this after that. Um, we, 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 uh, started in flat pan, flat panel antenna, but we have uh, many other uh, solutions. The main idea to use flat panel is, uh, by the way, the main bottom line is logistic. Okay. To ship uh, three, uh, three foot, uh, dish antenna or to uh, ship, uh, two foot, uh, flat panel antenna, you understand that this is a different logistic. And we, we, uh, decided, uh, that it's much, much cost benefits for us to focus the flat panel, but we have a dish, we have a lot of uh, new technology uh, doing this. So MTI, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a niche of high quality antenna solution. We can do a cheaper one, but we don't, we don't, we don't cheat. We don't play with the quality or everything. Is so uh, 9,000, 9, 40,000. Uh, we sell hundreds of thousand antenna per year. Every a lot of order from OEM, and and again the MPI it's equal to quality. This is our niche market, and and I will show you why quality means performance for you. Okay, how you uh, switch from MPI to performance via quality, um, and and I, I can I can guarantee for you that uh, if you look on the OEM market, we are number one. Uh, I'm talking about uh, in in the flat panel antenna. Uh, how many antenna you uh, you sell to OEM? When I sell OETA, OEM, I mean uh, uh, Redline, Radwin, uh, Proxy, uh, Ruba, and other thing company like this. How many antenna you sell to this kind of radio vendor by Cambion and so on? So this is um, about MPI. We have two uh, main markets, as I mentioned, is the defense market. We are doing project. Worldwide, from submarine up to uh, air force, a lot of project, you know, unbelievable project. I don't want to talk about this, but well, now we open also a manufacturer for uh, military in India. So, uh, you know, there is a huge also demand in uh, in this uh, area. Area, uh, we are we are focusing today in the commercial market. Okay, I'm belong to the wireless application, but there is also uh, RFID solution which is very interesting and going, but this is a different presentation. If you want, you can ask for Microcom to have a presentation, you know, they can arrange for you uh, 
a, a second webinar. Uh, MTI is used for many kind of application, from point to point up to uh, point to multipoint, uh, LTE, uh, a lot of uh, wireless applications that we, are, we know that they are using for uh, MTI. In general, uh, what, how, how antenna it look like, okay? Many people think that it's, uh, oh, it's uh, so it's very simple, by the way. It's very, the antenna is very simple, okay? But again, uh, this is the expertise of MPI. For us, it's simple. For someone else, it might be a problem. So first of all, there is the redom. It's a not a regular plastic redom, okay? It's very unique uh, materials in order to avoid interference uh, to the red, to the antenna, okay? And also the distance and between the red dome and the, the PCB, we talk about this, is very important. Everything is important here. Every millimeter uh, distance is critical for the performance. We have the gasket, which gives you IP67 for the antenna. It's outdoor, full outdoor. We talk about it. Uh, you have the PCB, mostly, and the ground. The ground is very important. The size of the ground. Uh, uh, you know, is the, 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 the size of the ground will uh, fix Again, okay. The bigger the the ground, the the higher. Uh, sorry, the 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 bigger is the, sorry. The uh, the gain is uh, better, but uh, again, you lose uh, you lose you know the the beam weight, you know the wide and uh, elevation and azimuth. So this is the main idea. And you know, of course, you have the connector. Everything is critical. It's been the connector is critical. If you take connector from uh, vendor A and take for a connector from vendor B. Give you different, different so eggs for different performance. So everything is critical. So what is the product solution? We have a solution from 700. Recently, uh, we also have uh, need to update this. We are going to enter the white uh, white space as well. The 400, 600 uh, megahertz, the white uh, space in the US, up to 80 gigahertz, uh, 60 gigahertz solution, uh, which is a Huge difference between the other one because the technology is different. Uh, we have base station, sector antenna, uh, subscriber, CPE, or directional audio, everyone call it a different way. Many Omni, and uh, we have some nice solution for enclosure. Now, by the way, many company bought our mounting kit for different application, you know, because it's very uh, mature uh, mounting kit. So the, the idea is that we have also a dish antenna. Uh, different uh, solution, different frequency. Uh, not, I don't want to go at this because you can find everywhere, everything on the web. Uh, we have few uh, solution for enclosure. Very nice uh, solution that you can put your equipment. The radio is, uh, by the way, this is the radio. It can be any radio, and this is the antenna that you give you IP67. We have few customers that are using this. This is the new tech, uh, enclosure, which give you more flexibility of. Uh, Integration, so you can put more uh, more uh, equipment inside. You have it's MIMO. We talk about uh, multiple antennas, so you have more flexible solutions to put N-type, uh, RJ45, and so on. So everyone is asking, you know, how much it costs. The first question that everyone asking us, how much it costs. So I will I will show you why why it's not, you know, it's not the right question. Maybe it's the right question, but it's a wrong question to ask in the beginning because you need. To know what what you are looking uh, for the, your network, and then ask, okay, uh, let's do uh, you know comparison to other solution. So I can say I can ask you uh, uh, how much it will cost for you you know to install different kind of solution. Uh, you know we we'll look about few picture of of uh, installation, and you will know. Uh, um, when I talk about uh, uh, about how much it costs, uh, the installation cost of, of antenna, and you, I'm sure that you are aware about this, it's a few thousand, if not more than this, uh, to install antenna, including uh, the cable, everything. So if you choose the wrong antenna solution and you need to change it, it will cost you, instead of a few, uh, few bucks or 10 bucks or 20 bucks, it will cost you uh, a thousand to replace the antenna. So the question that you need to, to say before I will install the antenna, let's make uh, uh, the right decision how we, control, how we can choose the best antenna solution because otherwise 
it's it's you will we will see this. It's uh, from customer charm up to uh, you know uh, time consuming, uh, and, and and I'm talking about physical okay installation, reinstallation, which cost you another few thousand. So we will talk about the antenna parameter. Just give you idea again. It's I don't want to you to be expert in antenna, okay? Uh, but just an idea. Talk about few uh, few uh, things that you need to see in the data sheet, and you will know how to compare it. You will know how to ask questions, and what is the importance of each parameter. So these are these are the parameters that you know, uh, let's say, most important or critical. Okay, there are also design, uh, shape, and so on. The first one, it's frequency. It's very easy, you know, you have uh, 5.8, you have 4.9, depend on what kind of uh, 3.65, it depends on the solution. So this is very, very easy. When you get, uh, when you go to, uh, to uh, your distributor, like um, a microcom, you said, I need 5.8 antenna solution for CP or for sector. It's very good. And then many people said, okay, I need the gain, okay? I need the gain also 17 dBi, 15 dBi. In the game, there is something that you need to know. Uh, many data sheets, you can see it's typical. Uh, sometimes it's maximum. Uh, mostly, MTI gives the minimum. It means that if this is the minimum of the antenna, the gain, and it can be higher. Okay, it's very good for for when you do a network uh, planning to know what is the minimum in order to achieve uh, you know the the coverage. If you have typical, really, you don't know, you know, you don't know if it's going to be 14 or 16, how you're going to do the design. So be careful when you see the game, ask if it's a minimum, ask if it's a typical, please ask to get uh, the radio uh, radiation. We can give you any radio radiation free of charge, you know, Excel or graph or whatever. So it's also, it's open information for you. Uh, beam width, it's it's the standard, you know. Beam width is the standard. This is a, uh, you know, uh, this is a standard that mentions uh, what kind of sector. When you say 90 degree sector, it means that uh, you're taking you're taking the the half beam width in order to, uh, you know, the three minus three dB in order to see the sector uh, uh, beam width. This is a standard. We cannot uh, change about this. But sometimes there is also cheating. You will see. It's 90 degree in uh, in uh, in uh, minus 3 dB and 120 degree in minus t uh, minus 6 dB. Again, it, there is a lot of cheating this, but in general, it's okay to say that uh, minus 6 dB is 120. But again, the antenna was designed for 19, not 120, or the opposite. But uh, again, this is something. But we will talk about few of them. So I want to uh, emphasize about specific uh, parameter which is critical okay it's more critical than you know sometimes the beam width because it's a standard so first uh, the first parameter is front to back ratio look the ideal that the main lobe okay the main lobe here okay you can see my uh, my uh, pointer the main lobe here this is the one that you need to design the antenna but most of the antenna okay most of them there is always uh, uh, a back lobe, okay? Sorry, okay. So always. So the question is, when you design the antenna, how many of the power of the antenna will go in the back, and how many of them will go in the front? Why it's very important in sector antenna when you want to do a real, and you know, to use the same frequency, you want. Uh, you want a better, uh, you know, better, uh, there is a ratio between the front and the back. You want the maximum front to back ratio, okay? There is a parameter in each antenna data sheet that defines this. By the way, there is some OEM that force you to, uh, to choose uh, minus 30, uh, 30 dB, 30 dB. It's Cambion or, or Bicep because this is the minimum, okay? This is the minimum in order to start reuse. If you want to do reuse, if you have uh, sometimes uh, 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 you transmit to another the one direction and there is another guy that transmit to another direction, so some noise can get from the from the deck. So uh, this is a very critical okay parameter. You must choose the best front to back ratio. Otherwise, 
is going to be, you know, it's going to increase shell capacity because not because it cannot do a reuse, a battery reuse. It's there is a lot of uh, noise from uh, from other under vent or other antenna or the same antenna. Uh, so this is a very critical. Okay, front to back ratio. It's number one that you need to ask your uh, red uh, sorry your antenna vendor uh, about this parameter. It's very clear should be in the in the data sheet. If you go to MTI website or microcom, you will see very clear for each antenna the, uh, the front to back. The second one, it's also side lob. It means that always, again, it's always, uh, there is no, you can only run for this. Uh, there is the main lob and there is the side lob. Okay, there is the first side lob, second, third, third, and so on and so on. When you transmit to a specific direction, you want to get the direction. You don't want the, the user or the, or the, let's say, the antenna will transmit more uh, uh, power in, uh, in the, you know, in the side lock. Okay. So man, the main idea there is a, uh, there is a, a level. By the way, this is going to be also a standard level by HCU, by other one. What is the side lock uh, that you need to support in specific uh, antenna? So. If you uh, if your side lobe are not uh, designed correctly or the antenna let's say it's not designed correctly, this is something that you cannot by the way you cannot change. Okay, the antenna is designed for this or it doesn't design for this. It's designed that, so it can be huge uh, problem if you do as uh, reels of frequency. Try to understand two sectors side by side, and the side lobe it's not good enough, so you have a lot of interference. Uh, the capacity and the coverage will be Disaster. So, side lock suppression. It's the second uh, most critical parameter that you need to uh, check. Okay, and everything it should be on the data sheet. Okay, it's not a cheating. Okay, it's in data sheet. And the higher the side lock, the better is the let's say the higher. Uh, sorry, the the lower the side lock, the, the better uh, it's uh, it's the performance. It's given by uh, you know by minus uh, dB something. Uh, cross polarization is also critical uh, because we talk. If you remember, we talk about capacity. In order to do capacity, you need more antenna. One of the things that, in order to increase the capacity, we change the polarization of the of the of the antenna. So first of all, there is the port to port isolation. It's a physical by design, and also the cross polarization between V and H, between uh, dual slant to V. So once you have eight by eight antenna, there is also uh, uh, interference between, you know, you, you use the same frequency to different polarization. So there must be some, uh, let's say, uh, filter between the, those kind of solution. Try to understand everything in the same antenna. What happens if you have another antenna with a different polarization that must meet very close to you? So this is also a critical, uh, so a critical. Uh, a parameter, what is the cross polarization and what is the port to port isolation. Again, it's, it's part of the antenna design, okay? When we go to spec from, uh, from a radio vendor, they know what they are looking for, so they define. But when you go outside and shop in antenna, you don't know really what you're going to use, okay? So this is something that you need also to check to, to, to make a comparison. Uh, and final thing, which is critical, I think, look, this is a fully, we're talking about fully outdoor unit, okay? There is also indoor, okay? And they have the same, by the way, same parameter, but in outdoor, it's more critical. You have a lot, a lot of problem like temperature, uh, mechanical problem, vibration, wind, uh, humidity, salt, uh, dust. Ice, a lot of flammability, which might be a problem. Some some cases that looking for flammability uh, uh, standard. So in general, what I'm trying to say that that uh, MTI give you three years three years sorry warranty uh, for your antenna, although it's outdoor, because we are sure that you get a quality uh, solution from from the outdoor. So don't forget that that antenna are outdoor. And during the time, there is a lot of problem because the the environment, for example, the red dome can change the color. I don't know if you see any uh, old uh, red dome, you know, the plastic change the red the color. It's, it's not only the color, okay? It change also the all the the material. So there is going to be a degradation in performance. So it's also critical that you need to know that uh, 
again, you cannot uh, do anything, you know, whatever you have. So what happened? We have done some simulation in, in a few uh, networks. Okay, this is two examples that I give you. One is a general, uh, I, I must say it's a general uh, uh, performance idea, okay? If you have a better antenna solution, we can give you a more uh, 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 more coverage, less uh, side lobs, uh, you know, uh, they, they have a good side lobs, they can do a better reuse. So from the same tree sector, okay, you have the same tree sector, one, two, three, one, two, three. From the tree sector, you can get a better coverage with a good idea, with a good antenna solution compared to a bad solution, okay? Again, it's ROI because you can sell more capacity, you can sell more uh, more customer, and you, know, uh, you don't need to put, for example, if you have a network uh, network design, for sure you need here and here, and maybe here another, another sector or another uh, cell in order to, cover, to uh, coverage the area. The main idea is, again, it's uh, it's, you get a poor coverage, low throughput. You need to sometimes to do reinstallation. You have time consuming because there is a uh, a customer complaining about bad services, low throughput, customer charm that leading to the competition. Now it's very easy to move from one you know from one vendor to other vendor. And and again, it's 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 very clear. I think it's very clear why why uh, why you need to choose the best antenna in order to get a better everything but uh, i hope that uh, i will show you a real uh, a real uh, example of network okay this is a real uh, uh, example comparing uh, by the way uh, radio cambion with the existing antenna and radio cambion with mti antenna so i i don't want to uh, <laughs> I just want you to to imagine that uh, who is the best one okay it's, it's clear that the right one okay this is mti you can see a lot, the green one, I mean, a lot, a lot of capacity, a better coverage. You can see a lot of better reuse. This is the cell, so use one by two. Uh, you can see another two cells. So you can see a much, much better performance, much better coverage. And this is the funny thing, the same 60 degree dual pole antenna, okay, here and here. The same game, by the way, 17 and 17. See the result. Unbelievable. So if you look here, it's uh, now that this uh, this is a big risk. Now we you have two pre solution. Okay, you have the Medusa now from Cambion. You have uh, the LTE, but you also use a lot of LTE antenna in order to get this kind of uh, Giga Tower or Giga Tower performance. Uh, this is a real network design. Okay, I can show you a lot, but this is something which which really affect uh, the customer. Uh, to buy only MTI. By the way, they're doing the same with LTE, and they decided to go with all the antenna with MTE. So with MTI because for LTE because the same idea they done uh, network design. They saw the difference and they prefer, of course, the MTI. So the real question: How much it costs? It's good, but let's leave it to the end. The first one: What is the performance that you want to give? We talk about capacity. Remember, starting for capacity, so mean performance of the network. The same network getting a better performance. High quality, low cost, this is the MTI. We don't, we still try to keep the cost low, okay? Because this is the reason that we have a manufacturer in India, okay? And the main idea is to to give you a, a not uh, to give about the high quality, but try to improve uh, the cost of the antenna, okay? ROI, return on investment for your network, when you choose, we saw the difference of coverage. And again, the cost benefit. Uh, this is a sample of our, uh, you know, uh, a short list of our antenna from Siemens to Nokia uh, to Cyclo, uh, uh, Proxim, Redline. And again, this is a very short, uh, very short list uh, of the antenna. Well, a few of them are very dedicated to MTI. So a few of them are, you know, are, you know shopping around. but. MTI is one of their vendors, okay? And uh, again, I think I finished, okay? Uh, you need to know that MTI is very expert in antenna. We are doing this 
for our living. This is the only solution that we are selling. We don't sell in anything else. We don't compete with the radio vendor. Uh, we have a large portfolio of many of 3.5, 2.65, 2.5 now it's going, going in the U.S. Uh, we are number one OEM leader. We mean leader, we, we lead also uh, with the technology, with the, uh, the radio vendor. And again, quality, 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 uh, it's equal to uh, your performance, your network performance. So I think we finish, and uh, thank you, and I hope that there is a question, uh, Julia. Uh, yes, Ofer, thank you very much for that presentation. I do have a couple of questions for you. Let's go ahead and get started with this first one. Regarding your antennas, of course, um, are the mounting kits sold separately, or does each antenna have their corresponding my, uh, mounting kit come with it? Uh, good question. You know, we have about five different uh, mounting kits. Uh, each of them is depend on, on on the size of the antenna. We talk about the outdoor solution, wind load. So it's 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 very very clear that a big antenna, big sector, okay, one meter sector, should be uh, have a different uh, uh, mounting kit. So we have about five of them. Uh, in general, for the sector, it will get a box with the antenna and the mounting. And for the antenna, you need to buy separately uh, the bracket. But again, it's uh, it's, a, it's about five different. Uh, two of them are for CPE and three of them for uh, for for the sector. Thank you for that. Um, over next question here for you. Um, Microcom does offer some tech support as much as we can, but if we need any further tech support from your company, uh, can we reach out to you? Uh, yeah, um, in general, uh, I, I'm a focal point for for many because the time's different. Try to understand there's a 10 hour difference in, from the West Coast and uh, seven hours from the East Coast. So, because the time uh, uh, difference, I, I used to work uh, personally uh, late in the morning in order to support the evening, okay, up to midnight. This is the maximum. So, if there is any need for specific, uh, more technical that require either mechanical or earth engineer, we can arrange a call, okay? We can arrange a call, but you will call to me and ask for specific things. If I cannot support you, we can ask for another day to uh, to pick up uh, one of our earth engineers for the call. We are doing this all the time, so it's not, it's a service, preacher service for, uh, uh, our uh, customer, like a microphone and their customer. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, you've told us a lot about the quality and the uh, different antennas that one can choose. What would you say would be the main uh, thing you could compare uh, with MTI Wireless Edge and your competitors? Uh, first of all, I think uh, I think uh, uh, committed to the spec, which means that uh, there are a lot of companies outside that give you a spec, but if you check carefully about uh, really uh, what is the antenna performance, you will see there is a huge uh, difference between the spec and the antenna, actually the antenna. I can tell you honestly that recently, uh, really it's, 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 it's happened every day, by the way. Just example to give you it's it's a good question. Okay, just give you an idea. Okay, the same antenna size. Okay, it's embedded antenna. We lost the project because the other guy gave them eight bucks. Okay, the antenna. He said, "Oh, eight bucks. So give me twenty. Um, I'm going with this guy." Okay, another one from Taiwan or China, or whatever. Instead of seventeen dBi, they promised him seventeen. He got thirteen. Okay, try to understand. 4 dBi lost on the same size of antenna because MTI know how to design the antenna. Okay, we, we know how to commit uh, the exact. And we won, by the way, this project recently. Okay, we got an order, but this is the main idea that, that there is a huge difference between the spec and the real antenna performance. Okay, uh, I can tell you honestly, it's a huge difference. Uh, you can check everywhere, Omni, Sector, CP, Whatever, okay, this is one reason. The second reason, it's a procedure of quality, okay? Are you, you know, each antenna that we send to the field, at least it tested by uh, VSWR, okay? I'm not talking about uh, 
waterproof and each batch we must test in the lab, everything. So once you get the antenna, you need to know that it's uh, already tested. Okay, at least uh, VSWR. Okay, the third thing is the material that we are using. Okay, uh, the red on the ground, uh, you don't you don't have a rust, you know, the salt. Uh, so a lot of things that give you uh, in the bottom line give you a good quality. Okay, again, it's up to you if you want to pay uh, 20 bucks more for the antenna. By the way, this is the difference, 20, 50 bucks, sometimes uh, 30 bucks, even five bucks, okay? This is the difference, it's not a huge difference, but you know that you get a very good quality uh, from the material, from the performance, from the testing. And finally, you have three years warranty by default, okay? So if you have a problem after two years, you have a warranty. I'm not sure that everyone giving three years warranty by default, but check it. Thank you very much, Ofer, for that. And yes, that warranty is fantastic. Um, regarding your devices, your antennas, and the enclosures, will they fit third-party enclosures, or would you recommend uh, your enclosure specifically for, um, you know, weather resistance and that sort of thing? Uh, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Of, uh, of course, of course. Regarding the enclosures for your antennas, will they fit third-party enclosures, or do you recommend we buy? We always make sure to buy your enclosures uh, to, to, for the best fit and um, and for weather resistance and stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, look, it's, uh, I, I told, I must tell you that it's, uh, it's, uh, all the questions are excellent, more than excellent, you know, uh, uh, because I will tell you why, because uh, we provide our enclosure like, like you know, uh, a solution that might help people in the beginning, but there are a lot of, red, uh, you know, radio vendors like Camion, like, uh, you know, like uh, Redline, like uh, Radwin and other things, they have their own radio, okay? They have their own design, proxy, result, whatever. So what we are doing, we can customize the antenna. The same antenna, because we change the uh, stud in the back in order to adjust this to your enclosure. So we can, you can use our enclosure, but if you have your own enclosure, we can adjust the antenna to your enclosure. Of course, this is a business question. How many do you need? If you tell me I need one, I tell you, look, uh, I give you a closure free by the antenna, okay? If you need 100, so we can speak about business uh, in order to adjust the antenna. To, uh, uh, so this is going to be a win-win situation. We can adjust the antenna. We are doing this all the time, either holes for the start or either a cable connect or either a type of connector, the length of the cable, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But the main idea is that, yes, we can customize the antenna, but it's a business uh, situation, uh, you know, uh, to see what is the really, uh, you know, the win-win situation. You will get antenna, but we want to see that there is a business after that. So it's costly, by the way. The process is costly, and this is the reason that we want to be sure that uh, uh, you know, we have a mature business with, uh, with the customer, but the question is, if you do it. No. Thank you, Ofer. I think we cut out just a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to move on. Um, next question here. Um, on your website, there is an option to find the correct antenna by putting inputting your by inputting your information. Um, can you tell us about that a little bit and, and, and how accurate it could be to get the result of what kind of antenna one would need? Uh, I think I understand the question. I know that... Oh, Ofer, I think you're cutting out. Can can you start? Can you uh, start over? Yeah, I said uh, with a new website, we try to improve uh, search. Oh, I'm not sure if you know now you can choose a frequency or you can choose a gain or kind of uh, if it's directional or sector or omni. Uh, I'm 
which was the question uh, 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 uh,
Please also remember that this webinar presentation has been recorded and we will upload it to our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. Thank you everyone for your time. Thank you Ofer for your wonderful presentation. Appreciate all of your time and efforts today. Bye everybody. Thank you, bye-bye.